Hi guys, it's Matt from Maxon UK and in this R19 feature video we are going to look at the updated Voronoi Fracture. Now it was one of the most exciting things to come to the R18 update and in the latest version all we have done is jam packed it with a whole load more exciting and usable features so I'm just going to sort of jump straight in and start playing. So with the Voronoi Fracture, um, if I just go to the offset segments like we could do before, which is really easy to do, one of the things that we can add is if you wanted to go to hull only, you can add a thickness, okay? So normally you would just get it zeroed out like this and it would be completely flat. But now you can add a thickness and this is a really nice and quick, easy way of giving something a sense of depth without having to had to have booled or modeled the inside. Another really nice thing that we can do is we can invert this result now which means that we can end up with these really interesting sort of patterned honeycombed lattice shape things and again you can untick the hull only which means you can end up with these sort of odd abstract shapes that allow you to sort of create a variety of different things depending on how you cut stuff up and how you want things to work out but I really like this sort of lattice work shape that it gives you now another thing that I really like about this is now in this what they call detailing tab. So detailing, uh, if I just show you, is really easy to just turn on. And there you go, it gives some detail to the internal fractures there. So you can see that it stops it from becoming quite so, you know, obviously a, a, you know, a flat surface. And that's really easily done just through this noise. So it's a standard noise texture and you can scroll your way through and depending on the amount of subdivisions have got any different types of noise that you use can give you some really interesting results when creating different you know sort of surfaces for the inside of that and you can lower or increase the noise strength you know just got to be careful with the sort of the polygon subdivision count there um, you can also add to noise surface as well because if you notice the outside surfaces of those polygon uh, of those fractures are still very straight but if you add in noise surface then you can see we're going to get some much more realistic fractures there using this new noise creation this leads us to also being able to keep the original surface as you can see the original surface is still nice and flat but if you just untick that it applies that noise to each individual side of those polygon fracture sides and allows for some really more interesting sort of and varied results as well. Now another little thing I love about the latest version is this geometry glue that you've got with the Voronoi fracture. So you can see that I've got this general setup and it's smashing its way across the floor. If I just enable geometry glue you can see that it now sticks various bits together. Uh, if I just pause it and then uh, just go back to the beginning, you can see the difference between the two. It takes some of those geometry, some of those segments, uh, and pieces them together. Now you can sort of like choose the number of clusters that you want, and you can see that you can go up and you can go down, or you can go down to just maybe two. And now if I press play, it will just smash in half and you know, go a bit crazy because of my dynamics that are a bit forceful. But that's really quite nice with the clusters you can also go for a fall off as well and you can easily add fall off objects by pressing this add glue fall off now that creates a, a standard fall off object which you can then customize so if I just make mine a sphere um, and then you know move it to there you can see that we've, we're having that influence um, I'm just going to have a look at you know sort of untick the glue the rest um, and you can control how much you want you know just using this sphere of influence quite literally so now if I go back to the beginning and press play there you go it's a uh, pinging off quite forcefully with the rest of the objects there but it's doing so in one sort of or one or two areas you know it's really quite nice because you can see you're now only getting a few pieces as though maybe something's chipping off as opposed to shattering and smashing so it's being chipped um, which is a nice way of sort of breaking a variety of little bits all in one go another lovely new feature is the connectors tab so this allows you to connect the um, 
fragments together in a variety of different ways. So if I just create my fixed connector, you can see that at the moment it works a bit like the uh, geometry glue, it's sticking these together, but you can control the force that it takes for these to smash apart. So if I upped that to 50, you'll probably see that it stays together much more. Whereas if I lower that to 30, you can see that they'll smash apart and they'll keep smashing depending on how much force is then applied to the rest of the segments. Now it creates this connector object here and you can configure these as well. But what we can do is we can swap out this connector type for some others. So if I go to the Voronoi Fracture and then if I go up to my uh, simulates here and I use a spring instead and I drag and drop that into my connector you can see that we've got a, a much more sort of jelly wibbly sort of state which is really interesting and you can change its rest length so you could make it you know, much bigger so that it pushes itself apart and wibbles or perhaps you can create something that sort of bunches itself together a bit more like it's being sprung from the inside and you can get some really interesting and exciting effects with that well, that was another feature update video for the Voronoi Fracture. I hope that was useful for you and I will catch you in the next update video.